Hey guys, it's Dilly Grissy here and welcome to uh, another Sims 4 speed build. Basically in this speed build, I am making my dream beach house because in one of my current Let's Plays, uh, Let's Play My Dream Life in The Sims 4, I was living in a penthouse, which I guess I kind of got because I may have married a man and killed him off to acquire his money and his um, estate. So we were living in a penthouse, but we decided to sell that and put the money towards uh, a new beach house. So that'll be coming up in some episodes of um, my dream life soon, if it hasn't already come out, uh, because my videos have been pre-recorded this week because I'm in the USA. Yoo! So if you want to keep updated with my travels in the US, uh, you can follow my Instagram and my Twitter and my Snapchat, um, all at Deligracy, if you want to check that out. I'll be going to E3, so I'm pretty pumped for that and checking out all the new games and all the new new stuff happening across pretty much all platforms. So I'm gonna have a good time over there and I'll have lots to fill you guys in on. Maybe I'll vlog if I can a little bit as well. Uh, but of course those videos won't be coming back until after I'm home and I can edit them at my uh, PC desktop. But anyways, uh, the house that we're creating now is going to be, surprise, surprise, a contemporary home. I do love contemporary homes. That's my kind of style of architecture. I love clean lines. I love interiors with a lot of white and um, light colors. I love big windows with lots of sunlight and fresh air. Uh, I'm a very, like... A lot of people enjoy really cozy higgledy-piggledy homes or like really cozy homes that are warm and stuff. For me, I like really open living um, space and yeah, natural light. So that's that's just me. Uh, I would love to read what your dream house uh, is in the comments down below. Do comment what kind of home you would dream to live in. But one of my dream houses would definitely be a beach house and yeah. So this is it. I think in terms of the architecture of this, um, because I chose a slightly smaller lot, like it's still a big lot, but it's not the biggest lot in Windenburg on this island. Uh, I think I was a little bit, uh, I suppose, pressed for space. Like I had to be careful with how big I made it and what shape I made it. I think um, if this wasn't for my let's place, if I was doing like my dream house build, like my real dream house, it would probably look quite different on the exterior, maybe a little less blocky. But I do like how this has turned out for the let's play in any case. And it is pretty dreamy, especially the floor plan, because uh, we've got these open corridors, windows. This is going to be the dining area. Usually when I'm building a house in The Sims, I often, as I'm building, I'll start placing some pieces of furniture in just to get a feel of how much space I have if the rooms need to be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Uh, we'll be doing a fair bit of pushing and pulling of walls as well after we have that exterior shell fully nutted out uh, just because some of the spacing was a bit off. And we, I think we had an extra room that we didn't really need. The one thing I don't have in this house is actually a bed for the butler because the butlers actually live in with you. So unfortunately for Ricky, he, our, our very attractive butler, uh, he may need to sleep uh, in, in my bed. So that, that's slightly unfortunate. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. So <laughs> there is no butler wing in this house. We probably could have fit one in, but it was going to ruin the exterior shape. So I was like, ah, I don't want to do that. Otherwise, it's going to be like literally like one big block block. You'll see it. You'll see what I mean in a little while. I love these new stoves that have come out with the Sims 4 Parenthood game pack. I think I love the green color, even though I just changed it. Um, but I think they're really, really cool. So I ended up changing it from the green because I wanted the kitchen to be a little bit more, um, what's the word? Ooh, that clean cut, shall we say. So we've I've still used the new fridge because I like uh, how the spacing works with that fridge, how there's not really much of a gap above it. And I think it goes nicely with that um, stove top. But yeah, we're going to change up some of the dining areas and still the dining area in a little while. We're not going to end up with that table. That was more just for spacing. And now we're just figuring out the pool length and size. I think the, the pool, yeah, we made it a little bit thinner. And now we're just skipping ahead a little bit to doing the roofing and finalizing that. Also, a lot of the windows are about to change because this was nice uh, to begin with, those big windows. But um, because we're actually going to add a third story 
to fit in my wardrobe and my bedroom <laughs> and my ensuite, <laughs> I actually change the windows up a lot. So this is a nice build as is, but it it gets it gets bigger. <laughs> so we had to we had to change it a bit. Uh, there's also going to be some nice mezzanine cutouts. So uh, you can see there, you can see over the balcony to the lounge room beneath. And over here, we're going to make this a really lovely long balustrade uh, and show a lot of openness, openness looking down to the lower floor. So uh, that's kind of nice. I really like that. And we were going to have like a double, a double living space. But in the end, I thought it was just like unnecessary space. I don't ever want to live in a home where you just have big, more rooms just because you want to live in a mansion. Like I, that's not my idea of a dream home. My dream home is that it's spacious, but everything has a purpose. So uh, we are going to change that little area soon. This is the office where this staircase is being placed. Uh, that's my home office where I do all my YouTube videos. And then up here is going to be a mezzanine bedroom level. So I can look down onto my office area, which I think is so cool. And this is the part where I realized that if I used all of the same windows, it was going to start looking like an office building. So <laughs> I am going to change it up a little bit. I wanted there to be some more variety in the windows that are being used. So we're going to use some wooden windows and I think it ends up looking a lot better. Um, just because, you know, it was, it was beginning to get a little bit too office building like, and yeah, there's still a lot of changes to happen. Uh, the other issue is those city living windows, the white and blue ones, they only come in, I think the medium wall height and then extra high wall height. They don't come in a low wall height. So that's really annoying because I wanted the lower wall height. So this house didn't look so mammoth for the upper levels. So that's why we're gonna have to uh, change the windows, unfortunately, uh, just to make it work. And this is my ensuite, which, oh, it's so pretty. It's like, it's got a bath in the middle of the room and a shower and a toilet. Like, oh, okay, obviously you need a shower and a toilet, but it's just so nice. <laughs> I just love it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I know white walls really aren't for everyone, uh, but I, I like a lot of white walls, it's just, my mom brought me up that way, I think. I think I got it from my mom. She's like, I love white walls and open spaces and light and brightness. It's just, it's just who we is, I suppose. I love seeing everyone's different tastes though and how different people like different decor and interior design. It's just so fascinating to me, especially because um, particularly all around the world, globally, everyone's taste really differs a lot. So like because of cultural um, influences and all of that jazz, it's just, it's just so cool, especially architecture too. It's so cool. Uh, we're also putting a little bit of detailing on these windows. Uh, we are going to change the windows soon, as I have said multiple times. Uh, I'm still trying to get away with those white ones, but uh, we are gonna change them soon. Here we go. And these just these just look a little bit more natural. It makes the building look less city living and more like an island build, I think. <laughs> it was just a little severe, I think, for the environment. Uh, so we're placing some of these in and yeah, there's a lot of brightness. I mean, I, I don't know who's cleaning these windows because I, I certainly would not want to do that. So let's hope we have an amazing, happy cleaner who comes around. Uh, <laughs> to do those windows, especially living right next to salt water because you have to put a special uh, sealant on windows, I think, if you live um, just across from the beach because the salt, is it salt corrodes gra glass or it makes glass look really yucky and it gets weird greasy stuff on it. Um, there's something that you have to make sure uh, that you take care of. And the back of the house isn't that exciting. Um, this is when I talk about being a little bit strapped for space. Uh, it just, yeah, the, the back of the house, I'm not a huge fan of, but I love this side. So yeah, just putting these uh, wooden details on the side there, they're actually just shelves sized up. And the ones I'm putting on the lower level right now, I'm actually gonna get rid of those because in the end they just stuck out a little bit. I didn't like them. So we will get rid of those uh, during gameplay, I think. And 
yeah, we're, we're probably almost up to furnishing soon, which is exciting. The furnishing for this build is a lot of neutral colors. There's kind of two aesthetics I like. Uh, number one, I love lots of timber, glass, uh, even lucite or perspex. I like a lot of that. I love greenery. I love big leafy fig trees and stuff like that. Indoor plants that are real. I love vines. <laughs> uh, and I also like really... Uh, I guess, simple, neutral types of furniture. But then there's another side of me who loves being out of the ordinary and loud and kind of fantastic with interior design stuff. So I love, uh, I love looking at magazines and things like that where people have crazy interiors with really bright colors and, uh, you know, crazy furniture. But I think ideally in my dream family home, I'd want it to be a lot more simple and more natural looking and just, you know, just nice and fresh. I do have gold chairs though. If we had gold chairs in The Sims 4, I, I would definitely have used them in this build. <laughs> and I feel like my office space is the space where I would make the crazy happen. Uh, make that a little bit more OTT compared to the rest of the house. So in that room, we're going to have these really bright yellow vibrant chairs, which are pretty nice. And yeah, it just, just, I don't know. You just got to live a little, at least in one of the rooms in your house. Why not make your office exciting? So we're going to have some bright yellow chairs uh, when we get to that stage as well. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing right now. Uh, oh, that's right. I was trying to find these things from get together. I'm going to size that up and they're just nice exterior details. And they actually come in this lovely muted blue color, which I thought was perfect for the beach side and it wasn't too over the top and it kind of just blended in nicely with the, the blue windows that we have there. So I like, I like those colors. So we pop that in and this is pretty much the exterior of the house finalized almost. Like I know it's a bit blocky. That probably real life, dream life, I would like it to be less blocky, a little bit more, mm, less monstrous looking perhaps. <laughs> but for my Sims game, I think this is perfect. This is definitely the dream beach house for me. And I think what wins in this house is the floor plan for sure. I love the floor plan and the inside more than the outside. So yeah. And we're also going to have a lot of uh, vines and garden greenery around the house, which I'm pretty sure I actually skip ahead and do this off camera, but you can see a little bit of it here, but it was just going to make the build a lot longer. So yeah, we're just placing in some nice ferns, greenery everywhere. We need a few roof details as well, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And we are also finishing off this exterior by having some more of these shelves on the side here, which we have some greenery growing on uh, at the end. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. Let's jump into the interior now. We had to fix up that little uh, dining table area. I thought I'd like a nice big timber table. I thought that would be nice. And uh, in terms of chairs, I was looking for a little while and I decided, well, White chairs are going to get dirty too quickly at the dining table. So let's go with some nice brown chairs. And I actually love this really neutral colored dining area with the green lamps hanging over the kitchen bench. And we actually go with this um, rug from the base game under the dining table, which is a brown and cream colored rug. I really like it. And oh, I love that little kitty, kitty homemade uh, decor item. I love, I, I love kids and I love um, like kitty things. So I would definitely not want to hide what my Sims created. I would like to show off their school projects, etc. So uh, I wanted that to, to be on the kitchen bench there. And here's just a double mirror on the wall just to open up the space even more. And yeah, this is pretty much our kitchen and dining area. And I love paintings on the floor as well, but I actually put that one on on the wall this time around. For the entrance room, keeping it pretty simple, just with a console table on the side, a place where you can just dump your keys or dump your handbag, uh, so they're easy to grab when you're back on your way out again. And I love these uh, pots, they're so nice, I love them. I would have them in real life, I think. Uh, but I thought we needed a nice entrance rug and I was either going to go for that zebra pattern or this more natural, 
I don't even know what pattern that is, but it's just more organic looking. So I thought, yep, that's nice for the beach house. And this painting just didn't really seem to fit. Do we get rid of, I'm pretty sure we changed that painting in a little while. It's, yeah, it just looked a little out of place to me. Uh, so we'll probably change that in a bit. And I also wanted greenery coming out of these pots. I like plants in the pots. I don't like pots by themselves necessarily. So we didn't want to waste an opportunity to have more greenery. So we're sticking those in now. And I would definitely need someone to help me watering my plants. Luckily, we have a butler because I basically kill all my plants. I'm staring at one right now and my plants just always look sad. The only plant that goes strong is Jerome and Jemima seems to hang on. Yes, I name my plants. <laughs> if you've watched my live streams, you may have met my plants. You may have had the honor of meeting them live on screen, but... Yeah, they just they just struggle a little bit. My my mum gave me that as well, the inability to look after green living things. Uh, quite sad. Thanks, mum. <laughs> my mum is wonderful though. She's very good at other things. I don't know, we've just never been plant people, so you know, you win some, you lose some. You can't be good at everything, can you? So, you know, we're getting there though. We're getting there though. Uh and then yeah, I was just trying to figure out in this living area what kind of orientation we were going to have in terms of coffee tables and things. I love these square coffee tables, but I felt like neither of them were contemporary enough for this space. So we merged together two of these bowling stuff pack coffee tables instead. And I really liked those. The brown colored rug, a lot of you guys absolutely hate that brown fluffy rug, but I like it. <laughs> so I put it in there. and. You know, ideally I'd probably have like maybe brown leather on those black chairs instead of black, but we didn't really have that option. So that's a shame. This is when I wish we had a color wheel because I could really make my dream lounge room. But I feel like I'm a little bit, a little bit stuck sometimes where I have to just make it work with what we have. I also love uh, this that wooden wallpaper it's so nice that's from the bowling stuff pack as well there was actually a lot of really good items retro inspired items in there uh, 70s inspired including those couches actually those white couches i think came from it as well i'm just putting a couple of lights on either side of the tv area i do like that there's just one long timber shelf underneath i would probably like that to be a box so you wouldn't have to vacuum underneath it and it would be extra storage if this was the, in the real world but hey, that's okay. It's Sims. We don't have to dust, which is nice. Of course, this is a family home. So even though it's a beautiful home, we also need kids things around the place. So we're putting in a nice doll's house there. We've got a little uh, science table outside. Some, um, some privacy blinds there. Even though I don't really like those blinds, but hey, that'll do. And then uh, out here, I love the red barbecue. The red's so cool. Uh, but of course, we need a dining table because I am oh, a barbecue area and dining area. I am Australian. We love our barbecues. So wherever I am, whether this is in Australia or somewhere else in the world, I'm gonna have my barbecue. <laughs> and yeah, we also have a hot tub. And I also really wanted us to have a lot of planters too, because I, I like the aspect of gardening in The Sims 4. And really in my dream life, I'd love to know how to be a good gardener. I would love to have a beautiful garden. I think gardens are so pretty. Anything that's, you know, natural and beautiful, I love to be surrounded by, hence the beach house and hence all the trees and greenery. So that's definitely my style. And then this is the home office. Yay! So this is where the magic is going to happen. I wanted it to be super glam, like super... Well, not super glam, but, you know, it's like all white and it's okay. It's pretty glam. It's pretty, I, I look like a high rider. Like um, I'm clearly killing it in that office with the double sized windows, like double wall height and yellow chairs, sunshine yellow. Nice bookshelf in there. We want to keep the family educated. And because I love cactus plants, I thought, you know what? Why don't we have a little cacti garden inside as well under the staircase? So cute with some little tea light candles. Uh, but this room's pretty simple. I think we might end up, oh, and we have a camera there so we can take some family photos. I do need to get my photography skill up actually so we can get some good photos for the fam. 
Up here on the mezzanine level is my boudoir, my bedroom. And this is kind of a bit of a boring bedroom at this stage. Like, I didn't want to move the window because then all of the windows would have been out of alignment. So I was like, oh, okay, it'll be asymmetrical. And I was like, I don't really like any of the paintings. I'm kind of sick of a lot of the paintings. So I actually just put a string of fairy lights over my bed. And it, where I live currently, I actually have a string of fairy lights over my bed as well. So that's kind of nice. And they're colorful. So it adds a little bit of a punch of fun into the room that's relatively bland and simple. But I think, I don't know. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's okay. And then we needed something at the end of the bed as well. So we have a nice little thingamabomajig. What do you call those things? Ottoman. Oh, and I love my fireplace, the glass on glass, like a fireplace on the window. That's pretty cool. I would like that in real life. And I love terracotta. So I have some terracotta pots there and some makeup there. Uh, I do my makeup on the floor in front of my mirrored wardrobe in real life because I don't have like a vanity or a beauty area. I don't have space for it. So I just always have like a tea towel on the ground with all of my makeup. I know it's a bit sad, but you know, in my dream life, I would probably have a vanity, but I wasn't keen on the designs in this game. So I just kind of made those plants on top of that marble thing. And that's the vanity perhaps, as well as this bathroom, which has a lot of space uh, for doing makeup and all of that. And these sinks are golden. We have golden sinks, which, you know, just living a little, having a bit of fun there. My bathtub in the middle of the bathroom that looks out onto the sea. How beautiful. How relaxing. I miss having a bath. <sighs> Everyone watching this who has a bath, you should have a bath this week because baths are amazing and it's something you totally take for granted. Like when I had a bath, I never took baths and now I miss them so much. <laughs> I just wish I had a bath. Oh, sad times, sad times. The bathrooms in this, I haven't really shown much of because they're all pretty simple. They've got white tile floors and white tile wallpaper, pretty basic, um, all of the same counters and that jazz. And this is really funny because this is one of my favorite parts uh, in this build, just this end window with a console table and double lamps with the flowers in the middle. I just like how ordered it is. And I think we actually do change the color of that blue table because it just wasn't really working for me. Love the color of that rust red armchair. That's so nice. And also putting some lights in the middle of the corridor. I thought that was kind of cool. This could have been an extra bathroom, but I wanted this to be a little study nook for the kids so they can go in here and have computer time if it's their go to have a go on the computer. Although I want my children to also enjoy nature and the outdoors. I don't want them to be totally just on a computer all the time. So that's their little study nook. And I thought I could actually close that off and put a glass door there. But for now, I think it's okay being open. And that's my treadmill with the TV so I can go work out and run a little bit. Uh, good times. And apparently we are into basketball. Maybe we have part ownership in a basketball team. You know, maybe, maybe that's one of our investments. I wouldn't mind that. That would be pretty cool because I could go to the basketball all the time. That'd be sick. A little potty there. This is a kid's bathroom. Um, my two kids, they will need a basin each. So they have... They have uh, each side, um, one, one side each is their own. So wait, does that make sense? So one side is for one kid, the other side is for the other kid. And they have toys next to the bath because I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, I loved playing with toys in the bath. Like, oh my gosh, it was the best time ever having toys and plunging them into the water. That was seriously the golden era. Loved it, loved it. And yeah, now we're just finishing off the final room, which is a shared bedroom for the two kids. So one's a child and one's a toddler. And yeah, this is where they're, they're going to be. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll see that in, in the screenshots. But anyways, this is the house all completed. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big house. That's a nice view of the pool, showing a little bit of the architecture. And yeah, I love that that wing of the house with all the glass windows and the staircases. Ah, <gasps> oh, so pretty. And I love the cutouts too. 
you know, how there's all of that light coming in and it needs to have really good air con or some kind of cooling system. Probably, hopefully something a little bit more sustainable than just plain air con that uses heaps of electricity. But uh, yeah, that's the dining table, one of my favorite spots as well. So yeah, it's very simple, very open plan. Uh, I'll put it on the gallery when I'm back because I don't want to spoil uh, the Dream Life LP for you guys too early by putting it on the gallery. So um, you guys might have to wait for this build to be downloaded once I'm back. But yeah, there's, there's my little console table at the window, one of my personal faves. The little kid's study nook, which Mice himself is having fun in, so <laughs> that's interesting. And this is the kid's room, so it's fully... Um, it's 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 pretty cluttered and all over the place, which a kid's room should be, you know? You can't have a totally clean kid's room. They've got to use their ima imagination and play. So yeah, and that's a little bit where you can look over the, the balustrade and look down into the lounge room. And it's kind of a safety thing too. Um, if you have your kids in a mezzanine level, I guess you can hear them if anything's not quite right upstairs. So I kind of liked that idea too, and easy to close over when they're teens and they need privacy. But we'll probably move by then in the LP because I'm planning on moving a little bit because I like moving. I like new things. I wouldn't mind having a new house now and then. <laughs> so, yes, we are living the dream life of the wealthy and not necessarily famous. Just just wealthy. Just wealthy. That, that's pretty much the dream life with a cool family as well. you got to have that cool fam. Uh, cool fam and friends. And there's a view from the house. Little, little garden gnomes. I put a lot of those in there because I just thought, oh, they're so cute. I like garden gnomes. Some people find them scary, but I think they're pretty cute. And there's the floor plan. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much uh, for watching this video. I will be back from the US very soon. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Comment down below what else you would like to see. And as always, I do hope that you are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.